you're talking about species diversity, you find the highest species diversity in the low Amazonian forest. However, for endemic species, the diversity is highest in the higher elevations above 2,000 meters. The, the changes in land use pressure that the Amazonian region, the basin, is experiencing are due to a much higher rate and pace of uh, transformation due to infrastructure and very high levels of resource extraction. There are many, many uh, different pressures that the Amazon is experiencing right now. Besides the biodiversity or at the ecosystem level, the diversity at the ecosystem level that you can encounter in these regions, um, you can find also 300 species of trees in one hectare. So that is us, it's how diverse it is. It's just amazing. And the source of all of this huge, incredibly um, high biodiversity of the Andes Amazon region is basically due to the presence of the Andes, for one thing, because that in itself provides first an, a, a very wide um, la altitudinal gradient with numerous uh, valleys in between them. And those valleys and those different um, aspects of these lobes promote a very high uh, diversification of, of micro habitats, I would say. So basically that, that is what uh, takes uh, for, for this incredibly high endemism to develop. Endemic species are species that occur just in one place. You can define place as narrowly or as broadly as you want. So you can have species that are endemic to a country, to a state, to a continent. And in some respects, humans are endemic to the planet Earth in low orbit. Endemic species are important to conservation because if you're going to protect them, you have to work where they occur no matter how easy or how hard it is to protect them in those areas. The goal was to produce uh, comprehensive information in terms of biodiversity. So what we decided was to first come up with a comprehensive map of ecological systems across the region. And then also we thought that in terms of species, what was most important to show and to analyze and provide the information for uh, was about the endemic species. And we came up with mapped predicted distributions of more than 700 endemic species, some of them quite restricted endemics. We wanted to make the results of the study, including the individual distribution maps, widely available to scientists in the conservation community. I think it's fair to say that this study contributed substantially to increasing conservation capacity in the region. For example, it's a little bit unusual to see such a transnational project. Uh, most research is done within the bounds of a single country. The advantage that NatureSearch has is that we're also not inserted into local politics. The end result is that local organizations are much more likely to share their information, leading to a much more comprehensive final product. The cumulative impact of the work we have done in this region, uh, first, it, it has it, it's, it's, it's not done yet. I mean, we, we have so many more things to do. But for one, we have produced very useful and comprehensive and enormous amounts of information. We are showing how to apply tools how to apply tools that 
uh, make it easier for conservation planners, for decision makers in the region to um, go about biodiversity conservation. 